Hi, in this video, we'll be designing the UI of this application. So in order to get started, let me open one website called pub.dev and we'll be using several packages from pub.dev, all right? And we'll be designing the, our first UI of our application. So now uh, what I will do, I will simply uh, erase all the text from here and I'll be using scaffold widget, SCA, scaffold widget all right and once i imported the scaffold widget we can see that line number two import uh, material the dart file has been automatically imported in our project all right so inside uh, scaffold widget we'll be using single style scroll view widget all right so that we can scroll our application all right from uh, top to bottom and now here i'll be using child sorry not child we'll be using children or Okay, so we'll be using child and we'll be using now column. All right, and inside column, we'll be using children. And the first children item will be an container. And here uh, we'll be writing a text. The child of this container will be sorry, I'm doing several mistakes here. So, text and let me write the same text like any text here. Or, this is my first application, this is my first uh, Flutter e commerce application. Okay, let me save the application. And now I can see some error here. And if I uh, mouse over here, I can see that expected to find and uh, find something here. Uh, Okay, okay, so here we have to use the symbol and let me reload. And I can see this is my first Flutter application on the top of my application, but unfortunately, we should give some padding or margin on top of this child. All right, so uh, here I'll be using margin and it's insets dot only. Okay, and just we'll be using the top function top, and here we'll be using 20 pixel of. Okay, not 20 pixel, 20 pixel is not exactly working. So instead, we'll be uh, giving like uh, instead of 20 pixel, we'll be giving like uh, 50 pixels. Okay, now I can see the application here. All right, uh, not the application, sorry, the text I can see in this location. So instead of the text, now let us use image in this section. Okay, if we have to write a good description here or a huge description here, we can also uh, uh, write or uh, copy something from lipsum.com. Copy it and use it here. Closed exclamation and you can also see some errors in this line, which means the single quote has been included inside the paragraph. Okay, so now I'm able to see the text which we have pasted from uh, that website. So now if you want to add an image in this section, we have to use one another function and that is for image okay let me click on this library and here i can see uh, something in the overview section but uh, we can also use image in one other way let me go to google uh, how to uh, use network image we can use two type of images the first is from uh, the network or maybe from online online server and the second is we can uh, include or we can upload an image inside our flutter directory maybe uh, we can create a directory called images here and we can upload the image directly in this section and uh, use it on our project all right so for the time being i'll be using the image from network so how to use network image in flutter I can automatically see the suggestion. So here is the link. Let me click on it and check. So I can see something in this section. What happened? All right. So 
I can see some codes in this section. All right. So at first, I have to create one more container in this way. Control C and Control D. Okay. And uh, the above text has been duplicated in, the, in this section. So instead of using the text, let me copy this code and delete that child item from this container. Okay, and instead, let us paste the image here. Instead of the text, sorry, let me paste the image here. Okay, save. And now I'm able to see the image in this section. So let us change the image. I'll be going to Google Images. and search a product or a mobile phone and let me click on this mobile or maybe let me click on this mobile some other mobile this is looking good and let me open the url of this mobile phone and let us use that url in this section And now I'm able to see the image in this section. All right. So instead of uh, using the margin as edge inset only, now we'll be using edge insets all and we'll be giving a margin of like 20 pixel on all the sides. All, uh, let us see, 20 pixel. Okay. So we can see some gap on all the four sides of this image. So now what I will do, I will make or I will take the image on top of the description. Okay, now image gone up or maybe 30 pixel. 30 pixel and here we can use some buttons. Okay, container. And we have used one new container here. Okay, and inside container, I can use one more uh, child called row. or row and inside the row i'll be using uh children okay the first children will be a container and the second children will also be a container okay now in the first container let us use a body sorry a child and the name of the child is uh, like text. We'll use buttons in the later period. And we'll write here by now. And let us copy the code and paste it here. And add to card. Okay, I can see container expected to find. Okay, so so here we have to use one comma. That's all. So now I can see by now an add to cart buttons or not. These are not buttons. In fact, uh, these are uh, 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 these are text. We can give some links at the later period. All right. Okay, I think I have this missed a page. Let me go to home page of this application. And where is the application? E-commerce application. So this is the app which we have just created. And let us reload the page. Let us save the page. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let me let me delete this application or uninstall this application from my virtual device. Okay, and I will click on Run button so that I can reinstall the application on this virtual device.
okay now i'm able to see uh, my application here okay so uh we are simply testing the features of uh, flutter how can we add the text how can we add buttons or links or uh, or how to add images on our application but in reality we are not designing the interface of our app so in the next video i'll be uh, showing you how can we uh, include one app bar or the title bar in this uh, app and just below the app uh, title bar or the app bar how to use one slideshow and then uh, we'll be using two buttons and a few description in this section and we will connect the app to our php project thank you for watching the video subscribe this channel for further updates